one full NHL season in the books for this 21-year-old Swede, but after a very solid opening campaign, optimism is high regarding this former first-round pick. At 6'2", Jules Eriksson Ek brings some size to the stable of Minnesota forwards. He comes from a hockey-playing family and becoming wild went across the pond to catch Jules in his hometown of Karlstad. Hi Wild fans, I'm Joel Eriksson Ek. Welcome to Sweden. For breakfast, today I'm gonna have uh, the oatmeal as usually. To get going, I guess, uh, eat, eat good food so you, so you have the energy to, to work out during the day. I like to cook actually, but I think it's really boring to just cook for yourself. But when you're with, uh, with some friends, uh, I, I think it can be a can be fun, fun thing to do, just uh, cook with each other and, and, uh, and have a nice dinner. This summer has been so, so beautiful here in Sweden, so I, I like to sit uh, outside and have my breakfast uh, with nice weather. This is uh, the town I grew up in. It's, uh, it's called Karlstad. It's a three hours uh, car drive from Stockholm. Um, I was born and raised here and played all my hockey here in this town as well. The plan to work out today is uh, go to a sand place almost where we run uh, uphill and um, I think it's gonna be fun. Uh, we're a bunch of guys usually working out together, so uh, hopefully there's some, some other guys there too. Okay, let's go and, and work out. Some days I usually uh, go golfing, some days we, we go fishing. Um, there's a lot of stuff to do outside, so uh, I think that's, uh, that's really good for us. And you just hang out with friends, I, I think that's, uh, that's fun. One thing that was uh, really fun uh, this summer, I think, was the, was the World Cup. Uh, Sweden did, uh, did really great. Um, it was fun to, to go to, to a big screen uh, with your friends, just watching, watching the games, uh, especially when they're playing uh, that good as they, as they did. Um, they played really good as a team, and uh, if you play good as a team, I think they can take you a long way. We're in a place called Sermon now. Um, we're just gonna run run a little bit, uh, have some drills in the, in the sand. Uh, I think it's gonna, it's gonna be fun. Always starting with uh, football, you know, having fun and warm up at the same time. We're gonna do three different courses on my signal four times every in every period i think that's good today because you know the hot weather better to do some lesser and do them you know with power that's my plan ah, come on come on don't touch the sticks don't touch the sticks some short uh, sprints and some uh, some competitive stuff Go! so it's uh, it's going to be fun so this one is uh, they going up, turn around, down in the hill, and up again, you know? When you look at this, it, uh, it's maybe not uh, look as fun as, uh, as you think it's gonna be, but um, yeah, it's, uh, it's just to uh, think about the feeling afterwards when you're done. Um, I think that's the, one of the best feelings when you're done with a, with a good workout. Turn around and up or maybe four or five seconds work, you know. And in the last one, no, not so much technique, just straight up. Ah, come on, come on, come on, go on. Ah. Working out here together with, with the friends and those uh, competitive stuff we, we, have, we have done today, it's, it's a lot of fun. Uh, it's not, not just going to, uh, to the gym and uh, lifting some weights. <laughs> it's a good exercise. Uh, it's good for everything. Your legs is, uh, is tired, it feels uh, almost like you've Played a played a hockey game, so this is a, this is a really place to a really good place to work out at. I like this. This is up and down, up and down. Yeah, really good today. Yeah, in the hot weather, we're working really good. Now we're probably going to go for for a lunch and uh, maybe a quick swim. I got this place uh, this summer, I moved in. Uh, my mom helped me out uh, really good with, uh, with everything from, from the cactuses to the, to the monkeys during the, 
during the winter, so it was uh, all done when I got here. So uh, I'm really thankful for, for the help. And uh, yeah, we can go and take a look if you want to. I got some, some stuff that's maybe more fun to see than others. So this is uh, my first goal in the National Hockey League. Eriksson Ek separates a puck, gives to Zucker. His shot deflected, and Eriksson Ek scores! I think I still can, can remember it. I was passing it to, to Sucker, who was uh, coming on the, my left wing, and he was shooting it, and it uh, came out with a rebound. I just uh, tried to, to hit the net, and it was, uh, I was seeing the puck, and it felt like it was going in, in slow motion almost, but it went in, so it was, uh, it was, a, it was a special feeling. It was, uh, it was a feeling I will remember forever, I think. This helmet is from the 2017 World Championship. Uh, in Sweden, if you win, you get a, a gold helmet. So I think that's a that's a pretty pretty cool stuff to to have. Um, you get it if you win the, uh, the Swedish Elite League too. So yeah, this uh, this is a cool thing in Sweden. It's uh, how it's always been, and I guess it's always gonna be like this too. So it's pretty cool. We beat Canada in shootouts in the in the finals. Mitch Marner swings in, waits and shoots. Lundqvist makes the save, and Sweden has won the gold medal at the World Hockey Championship. Maybe I'll always wear going to the shootouts in a final, but uh, yeah, I will take it every day as, as long as we win. So uh, it was cool uh, for sure. It was a lot of great players and. Uh, Learned a lot during the tournaments, but still, still really young, so it was fun to me to be there. <laughs> it's so big, no? As you can see, uh, I, I do my bed actually every day, uh, not just today. And uh, yeah, I like to, I, I just like to know where I where I put the stuff, so so I don't need to to go and find them every day. I guess during the summer, my favorite things to to put on is just like a, a pair of shorts and a and a t-shirt and. Then I have a couple of hats, just because when I when I get longer hair and I get the afro, so I, I don't have the time or to do my hair every day. So then I just put on a hat to to not show it. <laughs> I like to, to hang out here out here during the summer. Uh, it's it's nice and quiet when you have like the park down here and uh, like to eat my breakfast, maybe listen to some music or just read a book. Uh, uh, I, I like that uh, between works out just uh, just take uh, take some time for yourself and, and relax a little bit. Let's go and get some lunch. We're going to a place I usually go to. It's just it's easy and uh, it's so close to, to where I live. So uh, this is a spot I, I went to really often this summer and uh, yeah, when it's been uh, this. Uh, this warm, I feel, think it's pretty nice to just eat some something that's it's not so warm. This is a place we will go to probably at least two or three times a week. So yeah, I like this place. It's good. Hey, I can't have a salad that I have. Um, quinoa, thank. Um, shikling. Um, pickled rødløk. Och så kan jag köra avokado, tack. Ja, man, tack så mycket. That's why I'm eating here three days a week. For more Becoming Wild presented by Toyota, make sure and go to wild.com. I like golf because it's uh, it, it's relaxing. Uh, it's fun just hanging out with your together with your friends and uh, spending time with them out at the golf course. I started uh, playing golf just a couple of years ago, uh, so I'm not very good at it. But uh, I don't take it too serious. I used to play a little bit with my with my grandpa when I was younger, but yeah, I didn't really really stuck to it. So we didn't play too much, but uh, we played a little bit when I was younger together. We got to ranch and also slow några bollar. What that means is we're going to the to the driving ranch and hit a hit a bucket of balls. Okay, 
if I if I hit a driver well, I expect it to go around 270 meters, maybe. Some of the golf on TV I like to watch is, uh, of course, the, the Swedes, uh, Stenson. Also like uh, Rory McIlroy, it's he's a good, uh, good golfer. That's the better one. Use that one. I'm aiming for the second black sign over there in the middle, the one you can see in cup on. Can you even see the ball in there? <laughs> that was close. That's more like it. It's too hot. Let's go and find some water. My family have a long history with the first hockey club. Uh, actually, my dad played for them for 10 or 12 years when I was uh, when I was really young. Um, then he was uh, was coaching for a few years. So yeah, we've been there, spending a lot of hours in the rink uh, from the day I was born until yeah, I'm still spending spending hours there every every week. It's a really good hockey club. They have a, they have a great history and uh, the fans is really good too. So I think the, the team means a lot for the town and uh, is proud to, to be recognized with uh, Firestad. You notice that uh, sweatshirt, uh, that's, uh, that's my brother. Uh, he's uh, drafted by, by Anaheim and uh, signed with them uh, last season. He's, uh, he's a goalie and he's uh, I guess he was the younger one, so he was the one who, who ended up being the goalie. This river and the van is called the, the Big Lake here. Either of those two you go to, usually. The river is right here. Time for, for a dip. Normally you just go going down and find a spot, so let's go. Good. Been hanging around here since I was a kid. Uh, been hanging around here with, with friends. My my family is living like two minutes away from here. So let's swing over and, uh, and meet my family. This is uh, the house I grew up in. Uh, yeah, this is where I where I lived. Yeah. My dad. Yeah. This is my dad's class. And in there is my my mom. So this was the garage when these guys were were small, but they were younger. Now it's rebuilt. We had to rebuild it after a day been playing here. There was hole from the inside to the outside, so. We were shooting pucks all over here and, and balls and whatever it was and it was a, we were glad there were two doors into the house because when there were a lot of friends here too playing it could be a little bit nasty sometimes but the, the doors we didn't hear so much about it. But still we have a little bit here from the goalie to the to you with some of his hockey sticks is still here. Some medals from younger years but this is how we keep them so it, it's not a good system there. Active kid. He liked to move around and be outside and do that kind of stuff when he was young. So some pictures when, when he was young. Something was going wrong here, he was trying to be a goalie. So when the weather was good enough, it was games outside the house too, in the front of the house here. And maybe it's something left in the box here from this time, I think so. Some rollerblades, some helmets and some gloves is still here. From here to the big rink in Karlstad, we got like five, six hundred meters that way. So we got, Joel and Ola had close to the rink, and so they were walking or biking to the rink all the time. We usually played, played here or on the street, and I can remember we, 
this wall wasn't uh, much left of uh, before they uh, did the construction. We were standing here shooting pucks and uh, I don't know, sometimes the neighbors wasn't uh, too happy, but... Uh, it was like high music, so the neighbors here, they complained sometimes a little bit of a fun story. When you won the World Championships, the, one of the neighbors was the first guy to come here and hand him flowers. There was outside the door and it was under the flowers for saying the cranky old man because he was the one that always came over here and told them not to play the music so high. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Uh, so that's uh, cinnamon bun and cardamom bun. Swedish fika. Swedish fika. Fika. In Sweden we are good at fika. This is, uh, I would say, typical Swedish. Just uh, sit down and have a, yeah, we call it fika. Uh, coffee or milk or whatever with uh, some uh, chocolate balls or cinnamon buns. We like to pick <laughs> up. For more Becoming Wild presented by Toyota, make sure and go to wild.com. I'll see you guys at drink then. This is the, the rink I grew up playing in. This is the smaller rink, the color one. And uh, right beside here the, is the big rink. You can see it on the top here. And up here we have a big uh, workout uh, space too. So this is a perfect area for a kid to grow up in. I couldn't be happier for the people who's working here and have uh, helped me along the way. Doing the laundry for the guys that's playing overseas during the summer when they're here practicing. This is the practice rink. So this is where we're gonna be when we are on ice today. Can you come here and play instead? Yeah. Yeah. They come also, son. Which one? I think Cleavan and also Jonas come also to Brodin. Or maybe something like that. We'll have a good match then, son. Yeah, that's a pretty cool, pretty cool feeling. Can I thanks so much? Yeah, absolutely. Snicked. That was funny. My cousin one of the one of the younger kids, so no, it, it, it's fun. I, I like to just hang around and talk with the kids too. So that's a lot of fun. One, two, three. Good photo. Let's go check out the, the big rink. It's not like in the States that this rink is only for the men's team, it's for everybody. So this even practice in there during the days. We got so many teams, from the youngest to the oldest. This is the big rink here, it's where the team is playing all, the ga all their games and uh, some junior team is playing here, here too. So pretty cool arena for being uh, in such a small city. So I really like it here, it's, uh, it's good. So this is the area you don't have in the States. This is a place where they stand when they watch hockey. We got the Håkan Lube, a former. He's now working for the Calgary Flames again. He's a European pro scout. And uh, we got yeah, Ulf Sterner. That's an old player. But the, the, maybe the one that they know is Richard Wallin, number 51 up there, who was in uh, Minnesota for a while. It's been in a lot of time here but you don't really think about it that way it's been it's been a pleasure to be here and with the kids around it's even more comfortable to do that so it's, it's been it's been a big part of my life and of this kid's life and even my wife's life even even if she's been on the side not playing but she's been here a lot you make you proud of your kids whatever happened almost but it's, it's of course it, he I know how much time he put in and they put in to get somewhere and being in the same environment as I have been, it's fantastic. Yeah, yeah, it's It's nice and cozy. It's not the biggest place, but it it, it, it works out for us. We're not uh, that many guys, so it's good. Thank you, thank you, man.
I think my dad is gonna fall out actually to be out there with oh. us today. It starts when the goalie gets here. It's a junior goalie, but he works at the ice cream factory now. So he's just done working and he's coming here now to, to be the goalie for them. Here he comes, the ice cream man. The game plan for today. Yeah, we're going to do some technical drills and they're going to work on their individual skills. And we got a couple of guys that play overseas, so they are gathering here together uh, almost every night to have the practice and be on ice. Jävlar vad du skjuter då! Ja, Micke! Fler av dem är dumpar! Keeping my feet more, like, having fun, it's not, nothing, more, nothing more than that. It's still so, still so early, just trying to to touch up some pucks and, uh, and get the feeling back after after some some times off from from the ice. Whoa! Ah, yeah, yeah. For being this small town we are, we got a lot of kids that still play overseas. So uh, yeah, it's nice to have all that talent on the ice to be with them. Oh, ay, ay. Something like cut. <laughs> Yeah, it's a it's a hockey school going on here now. It's just a, it's a lot of kids. Uh, it's it's fun. They have so much energy, so it's, uh, it's giving us some some energy as well. So yeah, it's fun. Hang and buck. They get a good workout this summer and be on ice for a long time. So it's good. No mål! Mål! Ja, oh, tio! The ice cream man is, is the best one out here today. Och så en öppet mål. Stå på det bara här. Varsågod. That's it. It's uh, been a great day. Uh, see you guys in Minnesota.